Which has to be another option. start just over you know it right because anything that I say moving forward it's going to hurt some people's feelings anything that I say okay but I'm gonna start with this tyronebird.com TyroneBird.com. TyroneBird.com. Will. TyroneBird.com. Wait, so listen. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, so obviously, listen. you know, our offense. I'm trying to. Get hotter in a moment, so I mean, when, when we're down like that, it's, um... TyroneBird.com. Listen, 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 okay. Listen, this Coach Jackson, Coach Jackson, come back to earth. This is ridiculous. Listen, run it again. Just put her head on. Oh, gosh. Run it again. Run the play again. All right, man, listen. TyroneBird.com. Dog on it. We got to get up again. Listen, I'm pissed. Not because the guys didn't play. Black Search, you know, you guys, oh, we showed up. We showed up. We played great. Our defense played great. Did you? Did the Black Search really play great? Any Black Search out there, please tell me if this was playing great. We give up 400 and who knows how many odd yards of offense. That's what playing great is. Listen, that's the problem. That's the problem. I'm going to apologize in advance for this show because I really don't expect for people to say, hey, Rashawn Jackson, the three-time national champion, knows what he's talking about. Let's just call a spade a spade. These guys didn't run the ball. Okay. Kudo points. Did we get one fumble recovery? I'm still listening.
what have we become in Nebraska football to where we are at the point? Listen, this is not about the sellout streak. The sellout streak is about us, the fans. Maybe they need to lower the prices. Prices seem a little high for what we're getting. But let's not end the sellout streak, okay? But have we stooped to the level of mediocrity that we're willing to say we're almost fucking there? We've arrived. This is Nebraska football. We played awesome. If we had one more play or one more yard, we would have made. We have stooped to the level of Pacific. Any of my Husker brothers out there know when we played Pacific, it was a stat game. We were going to have big stats. Everybody was going to play. All 150 players was going to get in that game. We have to press the reset button on everything we thought we freaking knew. I'm going to get ready to go play the press conference because I think some of you guys need to listen to the press conference. Listen to what people tell you in the press conference. Please. There's a former player. That, no, no, I'm cut. There was a current player who said, we got caught in the act of being ourselves. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that one more time. We got caught in the act of being ourselves. That's what a current player said. A player that's a doggone good player. But I'll let you decipher that. I listen. I got notes. I don't, I don't even know if I can. Should I pull them out? Should I? Zero zero. That's the score. Nine minutes and seventeen to go in the first. We missed a forty-five yard field goal, right? Adrian Martinez is 16 for 31. Let me repeat that. He's 50% in throwing the ball. He had 240 yards and one touchdown and one interception. Keep that one interception in your back pocket. Put it right here. Put it right in your back pocket for a minute and listen to him. 16 for 31. For 240 yards, one touchdown, one interception. I don't even know. I might have to take a pause. I might not have it. We might. We'll see. Rushing. RJ, number 14, had 16 carries for 62 yards. A Mark had 18 carries for 51 yards. The freaking Yanny Cup had no carries for no yards. I digress. I digress. Trying to figure this out here. You have a 200. Maybe he was hurt. I don't know. I didn't listen to the game. I watched it. I listened to it on the radio. Because I can't watch it on TV. I have to listen to the radio first. Then I go back and watch it on TV. Then I got to think to myself, what in the world is going on where we have opportunities to, in the first half, just end it on a good note and run the ball downhill Make them use their time 
out and play smart football, coach. Put me in the game, coach. Mr. Yant, zero carries, zero yards. Adrian Martinez, 18 carries, 51 yards. Ask yourself this question. Who would you rather run for 18 carries? Of the 18 carries that he ran for, how many of those 18 carries would we like to see Yant run? 10? 10? It's time out to keep making excuses for the mediocrity of the bullshit that called Nebraska football. I know you don't want to hear it. You're going to hear it anyway. If a quarterback, running back, tight end, receiver, Offensive lineman, defensive lineman, linebacker, corner, safety, whatever you want to call him. It's not getting his assignments done. We'll call it assignments and not a job. But the NIL got him thinking that it's a job. It's not. It's not a job. Remember what I said as far as rushing. That would mean we ran for about 103 yards of rushing. Mr. Torrey had four catches for 150 yards and a touchdown. Austin Allen, by the way, had two catches for 33 yards. Omar Manning, three catches for 26 yards. Xavier Betts, two catches for 15 yards. Vocalex, three catches for 14 yards. And Mr. RJ, the running back number 14 himself, had two catches. Okay, listen to me. You, I told y'all last week, I played tight end. I had to block a lot of great rush ends in my era. From Trev Alberts to Dwayne Harris to Dante Jones to Chris Kelsey to um, Mike Rucker to Kyle Vandenbosch. I think I said Mr. Kelsey. Little brother might have been a freshman. Um, there's a lot of great Russians in my era that I had to block being only six foot tall. The rest are full of shit. We know it! You know they're going to be full of shit. You got to play the refs. You have to fuck the refs. Sorry, I said it. I said it. Plug your ears if you can't hear me say it. Fuck the refs. Because they're full of shit as a Christmas fucking turkey. Okay? Don't you forget it. Purdue upset Michigan State. Purdue upset Michigan State. Okay. If, if was a fifth of 1738, we'd all be drunk. If I had a million dollars, I would take care of everybody that's listening to me right now. If I had $5 million, I would be the best football coach in Nebraska history. I'm being facetious, but I'm just talking. I tell you what I wouldn't do. If I had an opportunity to go and score, I wouldn't put the ball up in the air and throw it. I would play possession football. Possession 
Football. Here's what I'm talking about. Jojo Doman. Shout out to you, young fella. You are the heart and soul of that defense. I wish you had to come back. Seriously. Number 42. Agent 42. Agent 42 straight out of the O. Heinrich. Oh, my goodness. Listen, once you put on a little bit more weight, man, nobody in the country. Buckus Ward. I'm already predicting it. My boy, the Reimster. Listen. If we had everybody going like them three young gentlemen, remember, listen, I'm going to say it again. If the entire defense, all right, Farmer, I love you. You got to get down, get off of people's necks, especially when they're smaller, and, and get down, get your weight down, and explode through them. Blue! Reimer, great game. Black Church, I thought you played a good game. I'm not going to give you a great game because you gave up 400. And I don't even want to go get my – where's my stat sheet? Damn it. Moment of silence for all of the former Huskers that have passed away. Now that that's being said, public service announcement. Public service announcement. When I don't know, I where are we as a people where we believe anything? If it was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. It ain't. You got this junk still on my face. I thought we would be cutting it off by now. Four hundred and ninety-five yards of offense the black shirts gave up. I don't care what you say. Say whatever you want to. But a great defense that's almost there, don't give up those many yards. They don't let one guy come in and catch the ball and for 13 or 16. How many ever catches this little itty-bitty dude came in to the University of Nebraska and caught for 240 yards and will probably get drafted in the first round because of what he did to Nebraska? You have to be kidding me. Itty-bitty dude. Number 11. Itty bitty dude number two. You know what we do with itty bitty dudes? We smash itty bitty dudes. We smash them. And the itty bitty dudes do with big dudes, they smash them and cut them. That's what we do with big dudes. If you're a big dude and you play, and we was a little dude and you play for Nebraska, you still hit them in the mouth the same way, but you cut them and you smash them again. If you was a big dude and you play for Nebraska and you got a chance to hit a little dude, you knock his Peter in the dirt. You punched him. You hit him. If 
I'm Porter. I'm trying to get lucky. If I'm Bud, I'm. If I'm Bud Crawford, I'm I'm a technician. I'm gonna hit him, and I'm not gonna be hit. We can't feel sorry for the boys. I don't feel sorry for the boys for football. I feel sorry for them as young men. Not because of the way they're playing football, but because of the way that they're developing as young men. We're going to see how many people are listening to this show. Because right around the corner, you got Wisconsin coming in. And believe me, I don't know if you watched the pounding that Wisconsin put on the team that they played, that we played. But you might want to go look at that pounding that they had on them in the first half. Believe me, Wisconsin would not like nothing else but to come in and smash us down with Barry Alvarez and, and our own offense against us, where they just run and pound and smash mouth. I was going to come on here and talk about stats. Because at the end of the day, the stats is who the team is. And you know, our opposition had less than 100 yards of rushing. We won the turnover battle. We lost the time of possession battle because we chose to throw the ball on first down versus run the ball. I see Marquis step. I don't know how many carries he had. I don't think he had any. What was he in the game for? You don't play the Yankee Cup? Of all people not to play, you don't play yet. Tell me he was hurt. But to not play yet is ridiculous. Unless he was hurt. That loss is not on the young men. That loss is on the players and coaches alike. And when I say players, I mean the players who are supposed to be the leaders. The players that's supposed to motivate the team to be greater. Not the players that's making the most money in the NIL deals. It's Nebraska football. Now, we can decide to sugarcoat Nebraska football and say, hey, this is what Nebraska football has become. Or we can figure out like what in the world is going on when they 
think we ran for 130 yards and threw for 250, somewhere around in there. And they threw for 405 and rushed for 95, and they gave up 95. And if you tell me that the defense is separate from the offense, I'll tell you, you're a liar. And I'll tell you, McBride will say, run it again. And if we, that was on scout team, happened to get two yards running the play again, he would say, run it again. So now you have black shirts, Ed Stewart, Trev Alberts, Mike Minner, Tony Velen, Eric Warfield, Octavius McFarland, Big Zach Ogard, Scott Salsman, John Hess, Twilliger, Mike Knox, Tyrese Knox, Bobby Newcomb, Air Crouch, Johnny Rogers, Kenny Cheatham, TyroneBird.com, just in case you forgot, and with the Y, not the I, for all your insurance needs. Scott Baldwin, Lawrence Phillips, Justin Stevens, just because. Joe Walker, Carol Buckalter, Zach Weger, Lumpy, Leslie Dennis, Pete Poppin, Scott Frost, Frankie London, Julius Jackson. I said Eric Warfield, but I'm going to say him again because he meant a lot to me. Octavius the Murder Man McFarlane. Terrell Farley, Indama Khan, Sue, Devontae David. Shout out to Shaq Barry, because he should have been one. Boys down in the house. Jerry Murtaugh, Dan Alexander, Amon Green. Eric Offer, wow. Archives, Lance Lewis, Tim Carpenter, jeez. Doug DuBose. Freaky Ty, one and two. <laughs> if y'all don't know, I'm talking about Freaky Ty Williams from Green Bay, Chap or Green Bay Packers champion, and also Freaky Ty, um, Williams from New Orleans. Punt return extraordinary. Mike Minner. Jamel Williams. Matt Shaw. Schmaticky Brothers. Mr. Freeze, <laughs> Josh, Davis, one of y'all, the Bullets Twins, who are we? That we have accepted mediocrity. Not I'm not saying fire anybody, but doggone it, you got to make some adjustments. We're at home against an Ohio State team that, that was cool, but 
You know, should have beat the team and lose. Listen, you got to go to Wisconsin. I'm going to get off my soapbox.